where a career coach will be able to evaluate if you are running away from a situation or if it is truly a situation that's unfair. That's one. Um, a career coach will also be able to ac accelerate your career and accelerate your income, your salary. You have to look at this as an investment, not as a cost, because investments produce returns. A cost is something that sinks. And they teach you how to tackle all of the moving parts in the job search and application and even the career management journey. See, there are so many moving parts. There's dealing with recruiters, um, HR agencies and, and consultants and the likes. There is, uh, you know, mastering the interview process, as I was just talking about. Uh, because an interview is, um, it's not a session where you are being grilled. It is the highest form of an information meeting. It's, it's that meeting where you also get to generate tremendous insight by asking questions. As much as the company is interviewing you, you are interviewing the company. And at the end of the day, it's just a conversation, right? But there is so much fear and hype around the interview. You know, people go into it so timidly. Um, then there is negotiating or maximizing your salary. And there are specific tactics because all over the world, not just in India, all over the all over the world, uh, you know, a company wants to get you at the lowest possible cost and you want to maximize, you know, the, the salary for which you're hired. Now, these two for forces are fighting each other and there are some tips and tricks to help you maximize the return that you will be able to get, right? Without putting you in that over-promising and under-delivering situation. Um, then, of course, targeting the right companies. Because, see, you're going to meet companies uh, that will do right by you once you produce the value for them. You know, they will give you the reward, the value will flow back to you as well. And then you will also find companies that will find an excuse. In fact, the majority of the companies find an excuse, right? They, they, that, that conversation of how value is to come back to you, it's always postponed, right? And larger companies, you also have a tremendous amount of governance and systems. There's no limit on the value that an employee is supposed to produce, but there's a limit on how you will be rewarded. So, you know, these are some of the things that a career coach helps you manage. Another thing that a career coach does is they help you tackle workplace politics. There are so many power games that are played, you know, in the office environment. It's unfortunate, but it is it is something that people have to contend with. And learning how to create, you know, the, the boundaries around yourself where you're perceived with the respect and the authority that you deserve. I mean, you have to earn it. Uh, but there are again tactics that you can use to ensure that you know you onboard and you 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 are perceived the right way from the get go, uh, or if you've been in a situation where you've been compromised in these aspects, then you can come back to that baseline where nobody can play games with you going further. And another area I think we were talking about it in another one of our episodes was switching careers. So that's another area that you know a career coach can help you with if you want to choose choose a different industry or a different function uh, because you know a, a lot of people will face that permission paradox they'll face that situation where you can't get the experience without getting the job and you can't get the job without getting the experience so it's like a catch-22 you know out of the fire into the frying pan um, so career coaches know or at least the right career coaches know how to help you create that environment of support to be able to break through such situations. Another thing that I feel uh, is a very important aspect of what a career coach helps some, uh, you know, a, a working professional with is he or she can hold them accountable. They have to know when to be able to hug you and when to encourage you and when to be able to kick you or you know, give you a slap on the back of the hand and hold you accountable, hold your feet to the fire. Because please understand, your growth will only occur on the boundary of support and challenge, right? So uh, uh, that, that's something that a career coach really helps you with, holding your feet to the fire so that you can reach that limit where you truly grow.